well, first of all, I would like to uh, thank uh, Daniel and Jonas to uh, allow us to be here one day of uh, conferences and try to improve ourselves on the art of speaking that sometimes is complicated. <laughs> so, evolving PM from the scene to the virtue. Uh, what could possibly a project manager explain to a lot of techies li like you without being so boring? So it's quite easy. Let's try to find what project managers, what we do really, really bad, and explain to all of us uh, what are the usual project manager with uh, really, really bad behaviors. Like that, everybody would uh, nod and say, oh yeah, I know probably a PM like that. Yeah, oh, even Antonio sometimes is like that. <laughs> so <laughs> it's going to be easier, and probably you won't get uh, sleep after the breakfast. <laughs> so a little background about myself. Uh, uh, I started working in Spain, so of course my accent, you already guessed that I'm from Spain, after France and now UK, so three different countries, three different cultures, three different ways of working. I was starting on Jetronix, really big company about infrastructure. They bought a software development company. I was in the software development company. They closed it. They didn't work. Group Osak, it was uh, a, a healthcare a company. They, they wanted to improve the systems, but finally they didn't know what they wanted, but I was there. In France, Travelsoft, became Orchestra Travel Solutions. It was a travel distribution platform whose major product it was Orchestra, and it was, uh, and it's still really, really successful uh, product and company. So it was, uh, when I started, we were 30, at the end 60. It reminds me a lot about uh, Open Credo, a lot of nationalities, a lot of good feeling every day, and uh, a lot of laughs. Here, Chewy Marine, really different. You know, I, uh, became from a 50 com uh, people company to a 50,000 company, so not the same. I, I stopped being uh, a people, one of the people of the company. I became a number, so I didn't like. I wanted to be, again, a person, so now I'm here in Open Credo. <laughs> I started as a software developer, so I can understand more or less why all the developers, they really look really weird to the project managers because we can be weird. <laughs> I made a change. We can say, or uh, Star Wars fans, that I was uh, a Jedi and now I'm a Sith, I'm on the dark side. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so with all this background, have you realized a lot of mistakes, a lot of things that uh, project managers usually do, even me sometimes, and I'm trying to improve. I'm trying to improve, I promise. So let's try to think about what the project managers do. Mo uh, um, specifically, the seven deadly sins of project management, <laughs> because by now we are bad, we are the project managers. <laughs> so let's try to put in perspective our PM, Bobby. Bobby has a lot of experience, 15, 20 years doing project management. He knows. She knows who else. Everything, everything. Bobby doesn't need someone else to explain to him how to do things. So let's try to find the mistakes on the scenes. Clutony. That is more often the case when it's a, a contractor project manager who is covering two months uh, till the permanent project manager is going to arrive to the company what the contractor usually does, say yes to the sponsor. He doesn't care. In two months, the next project manager is going to have everything. So I say yes to the sponsor. The sponsor is really happy. I'm happy because I'm getting my payment. It's OK. Life is easier and happy. So why bother to say yes to the developers? They don't know. And in two months, I won't be here anyway. It's going to be for the next project manager. Who cares? So why I don't need even to understand what the place in the company of this project, because I'm not going to be here. It's for the next project manager. That project manager, Alex, would solve the situation or not. I don't care. <laughs> and all the things are really linked together, because normally when we, we fall on the temptation 
we found the temptation for everything, not only one thing. So you will think uh, during my uh, presentation that, oh, actually, maybe that's not gluttony, that's greed, or maybe that's envy, lust, yeah, because all these things are related, and, well, we're really bad at British manners, we know. We're a band of sinners. <laughs> Green. So it's uh, always the case when Bobby met the uh, sponsor or the product owner, and the product owner said, well, actually, I prefer if we add this and this, uh, but you know, Alex, uh, the product owner, we've already started. Ah, come on, put it there. Now I'm go it's going to realize that you modify Jira. Come on, add on the uh, business case. Uh, Why well, you don't care? I will explain later to the high sponsors. So come on, add things. That's really, really big mistake because quite often when we add uh, acceptance criteria on tickets already started or a scope on the projects, the 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 scene the senior project manager Bobby is not taking into account the impact on cost, the impact on timelines, the impact on the well being of the developers and <laughs> ultimately the developers. You are doing your your magic. If you are not happy, the magic is not good. <laughs> and of course, if finally the developers they perform magic, they did all the project with all the additional scope, everything on time. That's the project manager. You didn't do anything magic. That's the project manager. The senior project manager thinks that. And we know that it's not the case. <laughs> Last. So our senior PM has added a lot of scope, a lot of acceptance criteria, and say, OK, let's try to be clever. Let's try to, if the f sponsors, they want the report at 9 a.m. every morning at 8.59, my report is going to be there. Always, always on time, because we know the sponsors, they only check the latest report of the latest project. So a sponsor with five projects is going to check the report at 5 p.m. because uh, probably there is uh, something weird on that project. That's the reason I'm getting the report uh, really late. The reports that are at nine, ah, well, they should be okay, those projects are not even checked. And I can tell you, most of the time the sponsor, they don't check the report. They only check at the end to see if it's okay or not, the previous day. That's <laughs> and most of the time with the report, the sponsors, they like colors, they like uh, green orange and red. You don't put red because you put light orange. You even change a little bit uh, to light orange like that. They are not going to even realize that there is a, a problem till the end of the project. And hopefully, if you are a contractor, <laughs> it's not your fault. It's for the next project manager. <laughs> and what happened when, oh, actually, the, the contract is going to be longer and I have to finish the project. Well, I will ask the developers to stay late. They are really, really great. They will understand. Uh, come on, it's only one-off. It's not going to will happen again. Uh, probably, Bobby, our senior PM, they always say that yesterday, the previous week. And the most annoying thing is Bobby. It's saying, oh, it's 6 PM. I have tickets to the theater. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. <laughs> um, please finish the scene. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Oops. Mm -mm. Yeah, <laughs> was too much time. That's last. So let's continue with the scenes because at least I'm not seeing people sleeping and more or less some smiles. So uh, it's going good. <laughs> Envy. So that's quite funny, this one, because it's all related to the portfolio monthly meetings. That's a thing that project managers in big companies we have. It's a portfolio monthly meeting. Let's say how it's going on on the other projects. And they say, oh, Alex, the other project manager, is saying a lot of things. It's making the devs doing other things, other features, other stuff. And also, he's Alex is really, really assertive. He's really saying, I want this, like that, like that. I'll do exactly as Alex, because Alex got a lot of experience. Let's try to do the same. So I will dictate what the project needs, what I need to have the project as a success. And the sponsor happy, sponsor happy, 
probably even I get uh, some kind of bonus for the project. I'm not the developers. We don't care about the developers. <laughs> and as much things I can put on the project, it's better. Because if I try to put 1,000 futures and we only, only, uh, managed to perform 600, I can say, look, 600 futures, a lot of things. Yeah, but there are a lot of bugs. Uh, 600 futures, you know, it's really, really the biggest project in the company with a lot of futures. Uh, the bugs, uh, you know, you will have some kind of support. It's going to be a day-to-day -day after the project. And also, hopefully, you won't try to get my contract extended after that. Thank you. <laughs> and that's often with all the, uh, of that is on the portfolio monthly meeting. The, wow, no, so that project is even more important than mine. Hmm, I will add things. My project will be better than Alex's project and I will be the best project manager ever. <laughs> but sometimes plans didn't go well. Oh, the developers, come on. It's only, only 100 uh, story points, and your velocity is 10 po story points. You can do that in one week. Come on, make an effort. Oh, I'm, the developers are really bad, really, really, really bad. Even the sponsor, he doesn't care. Uh, and the other sponsor, she doesn't care either. So, wow, it's everybody's fault because my plan, my plan is perfect. Uh, so, for sure, it's not my fault, it's others. You know, my Gantt chart, everything is perfect with one day this task and after the other and after the other. Why they started with the other? Why they haven't started with the one that they should start this Tuesday? Oh, the developers, it's not my fault. Oh. Sometimes it's really complicated to follow developers. And of course, 20 years doing the same. So clearly I'm doing the things well. And clearly the developer, who is only five years after university, yeah, the developer, Alex the developer is really brilliant, Bobby the developer, really brilliant, but they are young, they don't know anything, 20 years, 20 years, I'm still here, I'm doing things well, and, <laughs> and they dare to even speak to me and tell me what to do, come on, you are how, 28 years old, I'm going to be 40 quite soon, Come on, I could be even your father sometimes. Come on. <laughs> and the biggest of all the scenes of project management, sloth. It's always the same. After all the magical plan that is going to work, let's sleep. Let's sleep. And uh, there's a mistake on the report. Well, I'll send the report as last week because I know that the sponsor is not reading it. And um, let's try to bet. I'm going to send exactly the same and we'll see if the sponsor is within. Oh, jackpot. I, no need to do a, another report. Oh, the developer, Alex is telling me, well, we have a problem. Okay, okay, I'll put that we have a problem. That's okay on the report. Yeah, yeah, but we have a problem. Yeah, well, tell me when it's done and when it's solved. Uh, don't bother me with details. I don't I don't want the details, just let me know when it's going to be live. That's the only thing that I'm carrying. And of course, the day before uh, the, the spring delivery, oh, something is not going well. Well, why didn't you tell me? Well, we tried or on the week. No, no, you didn't try. Yeah, it wasn't the Jira, you didn't check the uh, Jira, the status. We even tried to, 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 to call you, but you're no, <laughs> project managers, the bad ones, the sinners, don't lapidate all of them, because sometimes you can throw a stone to me, please. <laughs> they, they assume that they don't need to move at all. All the updates of the project, all the updates, they are going to come to them. So why, why move in? I can send mails. Look, mail, mail, mail. Yeah, let's watch YouTube. No, no. Project Manager should discuss more. Go to face to face and try to find why we have a problem, how to solve the problem. And it's, of course, the PM is not going to solve the problem. It's not going to find a solution. But at least Alex can check the, the possible solutions with the developers and can show to the sponsors, OK, this is happening. The possible solution are A, this is impact of doing A. B, this is the impact of doing B. C, this is impact of doing C or do nothing, and this is the impact of do nothing. That should be 
the way to do but well i'm not going to even do that one of the developers will solve it so that's really really slow after all of that i think that more or less uh, all of you have seen at least 1 pm with one of those scenes can say that it's quite easy to fall on the scenes i may sometimes fall in the scenes all that scenes are not exclusive to project managers so don't think that uh, we only are the bad ones no no it's everybody but project manager when we do things badly they are even more noticeable than the rest and the bad things they're always uh, seen first than the good things that's the reason that I prefer to focus always on the sense rather than the, on the virtue because when we see and we realize all the things that we are doing we can try to find a solution though what could I do to improve that well I could try to explain really really long at the same way of the scenes maybe a little bit slower sorry about my pace for speaking and but I'm speaking slower than usual yeah don't be afraid <laughs> We can pray uh, if the sins, probably God is going to save me. Or we can try to think, okay, let's try to be clever. What could be the solution? Yeah, I'm going to tattoo myself the virtues like that. I will remember every day that I have to do that. A mm, little bit too drastic. Maybe let's try to be a bit logical, to use the common sense, that we know that is the less common of the sense, and let's try to think about the good things of the virtues. Normally, I could explain one by one all the virtues, but this is a, really a, a short talk in half an hour, so I will explain really, really, not fast, but let's say not as slow, <laughs> because if I say fast, probably you are going to run away from me, <laughs> and I'm not that fast running, I, I know, I speak faster than running. <laughs> I'm going to try to think about the minimum that we suit the project managers and everybody in general to think about when there is a, an issue or when we need to think about a project. Of, of course, this is my personal view. And sometimes I, people tend to disagree with me in one of them. You will realize on, uh, on which one. So let's try to imagine about the virtues of project management, of software development, of everything. Because as someone said uh, all the problems in the world most of the time are people problems it's the people it's not the technique it's not the technology most of the time it's the people so let's try to think about the virtues and try to find one sentence regarding the virtues with the virtues it's like the sins the sins are related the virtues could be related so some of you could say oh, I could place that on a different virtue, I could place that on a different virtue. Yeah, but it's a virtue anyway, and I if you don't place that on a scene, we're okay, we agree, so <laughs> everything is <laughs> okay. Let's think what Bobby and Alex, our project manager, should uh, start doing. That is really, really complicated one, because everybody is afraid of losing their jobs. But if I say no, maybe they will uh, stop the contract. Yeah, but if you say yes, maybe they will keep the contract and you will be in a really bad position. So you need to r really understand if you do your job to get the project in the best way of, uh, possible, even if you are saying no to the sponsor, the sponsor, most of the time, <laughs> they will realize. And they will realize that it was a good call and they will be happy, really happy with you. And probably your contract will be longer and the project is success. And that it started to say no to the sponsor. They want everything. Uh, they, they can even ask, you know, I want a horse, but I want a horse to be white with uh, black spots, horns, and I want a horse to give me milk. But uh, are you sure that you don't want a cow? No, no, I want a horse. But the horse doing all of that. But uh, no, it's not possible. Bobby would actually say, yeah, yeah, and the developers would find the magic to get you a horse a horse able to give you milk and with horns and white. Come on, it's easier. You know how to put horns. Yeah, you know how to put wh black uh, spots. Uh, yeah, okay, come on, it's possible then. Uh, no, that's not a horse. So 
let's start to say no to the sponsors for the developers to can say also no to the project managers sometimes we are like the sponsors we try to tend to do things and uh, most of the time with a discussion it's okay it's a face-to-face -face discussion it's going to help to accept that no is a valid answer temperance <coughs> removal of impediments some project managers they tend to wait till the impediments are free because someone else is going to help us and also with some software developers they tend to oh, okay we're going to have a problem there but that's not my part so I will continue continue that will explode there no we should all be more proactive try to think okay in two weeks or in three weeks we can have this problem what could I do to remove that impediment in two weeks or Bobby our little developer Bobby can't work on the, that task because Bobby needs someone else's action so let's try to put people together let's try to discuss to remove all the impediments because that's that's the way that we can solve the issue and that's the way we can have the project done charity sometimes you only need to ask the rest of the people what they need to perform in your day what do you need to work what do you need done what do you need every day to work someone ask you they, they soon ask you <laughs> and probably you only need I only need a coffee in the morning it's, it's quite easy to get the coffee if you so that's the reason maybe we have a coffee machine at Fancredo because we need coffee and that's a really good thing and people say oh I could like cookies we have cookies so now it's an impediment we you have the sugar so you can work it's easy thing and it's the same with uh, the project management you can ask every st stakeholders even if it's a developer or even if it's a sponsor what they need and try to uh, help them to get it because if they're happy they will work and they w won't blame anyone that's the issue people usually forget to ask others what they need transparency on reports based on facts come on I don't want any color let's say the number of stories done the number of stories not done let's try to be more factual and not try to get uh, okay that one he wants a, a report based on uh, other things she she wants a report based on other things let's try to imagine yeah well it's orange orange is good no based on fact let's try to find what are the facts that we need to put in the report or often the report is based on fact and the facts are based on the work of everybody so if you help everybody to find what they need the work is going to be better the reports are going to be more accurate the sponsor is going to be happy you are going to be happy that's controversial I prefer always quality people prefer always value what's quality what value but the only thing that I'm pretty sure it sometimes is better to wait a little bit and to perform the things with good quality or good value rather than delivering things for delivering that are not fully tested or fully performance of course there are always some kind of impediments in the company but the quality it should be the most important for everybody not only for project managers or, or the value to be able to put on your job the value and the quality that you expect from the others do the same you do a job with quality you do a job with good value even if it could take a little bit longer but in the long term something that uh, has really good quality and is giving a lot of value there's not going to be a lot of support and there's not going to be a lot of time that is going to be lost because it wasn't with a good quality oh we have a production bag come on dad no one tests that no one thinks about that yeah not even the, the project manager that one that Bobby is always a good one Bobby didn't think about that either so let's try to focus on quality and the value that's for me it's also one of the keys facilitate communication most of the problems are misunderstanding between people I've worked in big company a lot of different locations in the world sometimes different locations in London the 
and all the males the males are not the good way of communicating because you don't know the state when people are writing the mail and you don't know my mind state when I'm reading probably I don't know maybe my soccer team lost uh, against my, uh, by the direct competitor I'm really upset and now oh come on that mail I'm going to answer the same oh, and now it's a, a snowball effect when you realize something like that is happening the easier way get a conference room get a meeting room get the people together you don't even need to talk they would talk and the problem with it is solved they only need to talk fast, uh, face to face it's that uh, really really easy humility that's for the project managers it's really really complicated because the classic project manager is a why for the project manager we have manager on the rob title we're on the top you are a software developer what is manager on your drop title you don't have manager you are below it's not like that <laughs> now everybody should put ourselves at the service of the others if i facilitate your day-to-day -day work and i help you to remove impediments you see that i'm helping you that i'm trying to make you work better most of the time you are going to work even harder because you see that guy bobby alex they are doing as much as they can to make my life easier every day to walk but well, i'm going to try to do the same so that's one of the keys is think what do you want the others to do for you and do the same for them so with all of the sins all the virtues if we ask bobby our senior project manager what should the project manager do? <laughs> Manage a project, a captain obvious. It's really easy. Why you ask that stupid questions? No. Project manager. No, no, not managing a project. Now, the difference is facilitate the project. Because if you facilitate everybody's work, every day to day work, the project is going to be a success. And it's going to be a success for everybody. Not only for the sponsor, not only for the project manager, not only for the software developer. It's going to be a team effort, and that's the key thing. So, for finishing, we know Richard Branson. We can find thousands and thousands of quotes of Richard Branson uh, on the net. Some, some quotes are really, really nice, and I really like some quotes of him. Especially, I like this one. If you look after your staff, they look after your customers. It's that simple. Then I can tell you that I work in different companies, customer focus, and not all of them are like that. They always think, no, no, customer first, customer first. We don't care about our stuff, customer first. I think that he's right. And in project man uh, management and in project in general, we can think a little different, but the same way. If you look after the team, they will look after the sponsors and also if they look after the sponsors, they look after the project. And what happens if they look after the project? They look after you. So it's as simple as that. You look after them, they look after you, and the project is a success. So now the choice of everybody is where to go, <laughs> to heaven or to hell. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, it depends on, for me, it depends on the uh, status of the project manager, uh, manager on the company and the company itself. It's not the same when you're a contractor, when you're a permanent position, and not the same in small company or big company. Often, the scene for me is say no to the developers or not to the uh, stakeholders because they know exactly what the project is going to achieve. The sponsor, most of the time, not always, <laughs> there is a sponsor here please don't lapidate me or not yet at least <laughs> wait one month I, my <laughs> I want to get married <laughs> and <laughs> and say no to the sponsor is a virtue but it's a virtue if you manage saying no to make them understand 
why no is the right choice. And that is the hardest thing. But if you don't start with a no, you wouldn't manage at all to explain or to show them why it was the, the right choice. The, the question, it was about uh, how to manage uh, the developers to like to be in meetings because usually the developers, they don't like meetings, right? Something. Or people in general. I'm not going to say developer because maybe I'm not in the right room for saying that. <laughs> well, I in fact, most of the time, it could be only a face-to-face -face conversation that you need to facilitate to two people that are fighting or are in, in a storm between them. So if you get the two discussing in a normal way, it's enough. Sometimes with the meetings, you can send an agenda with some meetings, depending on the meeting, if it's a, a really, really important meeting and you want one clearly answer for one question, is the agenda is to get the, the solution for this or to discuss the possible solution for this and to be able to propose the solution. When I was a developer, I really hate meetings for the sake of meetings without knowing why I was there. Also big companies is the same not only for software developers, for project managers. Uh, I even now in big companies they are even able to have a conference call of more than 30 people. <laughs> I've been on one of them with food. And it's sometimes it's 15 minutes only listening. Alex has joined the conference. <laughs> Bobby has joined the conference. Alex has left the conference. Bobby has joined the conference. Oh two Bobbies. And that's really, really annoying, and most of the time without an agenda. <laughs> so if long agendas, yeah, long, lo long agendas, it's not really good. It's better to have a small meetings, small group of people, and after discuss with others. And if you need more or less everybody to be aware of the conversation, sometimes it's better to facilitate a small meetings for, with the different groups and to get the lead of that meeting to have another meeting to discuss. To, uh, let's say, on this row, one meeting, the four, Daniel gathering all the information, all the uh, subjects that we want to discuss, and after, I have a meeting with Daniel, with Lorenzo, with uh, Steve and Matt, and we'll discuss all the subjects probably discussed. It's less time lost, because sometimes with the meetings, 30 people on the conf call, two hours, let's say 100 pound hourly cost, it's a lot of money for nothing, because pretty sure after a conf call of 30 people of one hour, there is no action, because it's impossible to agree on something. And one of the things that is important, try to be a, a not number on the meetings. If there are five people, the decision is going to be faster than four or six, because three can say yes. It's as simple as that. Odd. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.